what up? I said we were going to literally start immediately again. That was right. Sunday, skip button. Oops. Alright, well, you know what? This is going to go pretty quick. Because I know where everything to click on is already. Okay, cool. And we'll just rush through this. Cool! Go to class. And now... If I click on the dorm, is there... I could see if I can get Blake to relax or something. I heard you. Well, that's an unusual way to start a phone conversation. Hello, Blake. A good afternoon to you, too. I heard you and Yang talking before class. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Yang was right. You were going to skip breakfast. That's not important. Well, if it's not important, why did you not come to class, then? What? What talk before class? I think maybe... This is a small glitch, or it's just supposed to be implied in this conversation. Like, I don't claim to know you better than your partner or yourself, but we both know you're smarter than this. This is not a matter of brain, it's a matter of being prepared. By over stressing yourself physically and mentally? Someone has to pick up the slack of the rest of Remnant. She's adamant about this. I need to go in softer. Hmm. Seems like we're talking in circles. Kind of. So, what do you want to talk about? Excuse me? I guess I should sit down. I don't think I can change your mind, so talking about it just puts more stress on you. Thus, let's talk about something else. Something else? But what? Whatever. Like, have you ever seen the sea? I meant on a beach, not from the Vale docks. I haven't. I was born near the sea, actually. Really? Yes, the village I lived in when I was young was on the coast. The water is beautiful there, if a bit cold. I hear shuffling. She's moving around. What's the sand like? The sand? Indulge me. I've never seen the beach before, remember? She's chuckling, but her voice is a bit more distant now. She laid her phone down. Am I on speaker? Should I raise my voice? No, it's fine. Anyway, um, sand. Back home, it's like a fine powder. It feels very nice between your toes. But don't step on it barefooted at midday. I'll be sure not to do that. You liked it, the beach? Yes, but, I mean, I like taking baths and all, but, um... Hmm? She doesn't seem very coherent all of a sudden. What I liked the most was... Dozing in the sun, letting the water dry on me, curled up on a beach towel. Curled up? Like a cat? I can't help but smile at the imagery, particularly because her bow actually looks like a pair of kitty ears. That's a weird way of dozing off. Uh, Blake? I blink in confusion, staring at the screen. Why isn't she answering all of a sudden? I bring the phone back to my ear and try and listen closely. All I can hear from the other line is soft, rhythmic breathing. She fell asleep. Um, let's go to the gym and do some strength training. Because... The following day, let's go to class. How'd you like the new oatmeal? Uh, it wasn't as tasty as the other brand, but I could fix a bad in honey, so I guess it evens out. The other brand didn't go really well with honey. I know, right? Like pouring cotton candy into more cotton. You explain yourself. Yang, wh what's wrong? Are you a hypnotist? Sleeping gas? Magic? Magic. Could someone start making sense? What happened? What happens is that we've been trying to get Blake to take a real break with no results for weeks now. And... And yesterday we go back to our dorm to find Blake napping. In the afternoon. 
without having opened a school book. And she slept all day and only woke up for dinner. And her phone has a suspended call from your cell phone. So what did you do? <coughs> um, honestly, it was just dumb luck. Hell do you mean dumb luck? Honestly, the odds. I was just chatting with her on the phone, talking about this and that, and I guess I invoked a new relaxing memory for her. That's not fair. Why couldn't we be that lucky? Probably because you worry too much about her? Not without cause, I mean. Oops. Don't hit right click, you fool. I don't know how exactly to explain this, but um, because I'm not as involved as you are, I can afford to not take this as seriously. You're exactly sounding. You're not exactly sounding like a good guy here. Wilson, breathe. They get what you're saying. Oh, all right. Lesson's about to start. We can discuss it more later. But Wilson, whatever you're doing, keep on doing it. Uh, sure. Got it. Your star can all increase by five. And toughness. Strength. Because I'm fairly certain that. Come on. I'm about to get as soon as Saturday arrives. We can do the Blake. Yep. I should see if I can get Blake to relax some more today. Boom, this episode is going to include the lead-up and Blake event 2. I've seen this before. And this reminds me of what happened last time, after we discovered the matter with Tuxin. What she needs is to be distracted, and I guess that the, the fact that I'm able to do it so easily is because deep down she does want to be distracted from the heavier stuff in her life, if only for a while. And Yang and the others couldn't do it because their instinct is to help her, not distract her. Their solution is more effective in the long term, but without an outlet, Blake will crack. So... I can't believe I did that. You really need to work on your greetings when you answer the phone. Shut up. This is all your fault. How is this my mind if I walk while you can talk? Nah, mind if I lay down? I promise not to fall asleep this time. Wait, no, that was your fault. Your teammates seem to think so as well. Oh, God, they freak out on you like they did on me? Their guesses for how it happened were in order. Hypnosis, sleeping gas, and magic. <laughs> well, maybe it was kind of hypnosis, like the one they use in therapy. Wouldn't know, never been to therapy. Me neither. But it works by putting you in a relaxed state, making you focus on certain images. You kinda did that to me. I guess remembering about the catnaps you used to take on the beach while you were sleep deprived kind of worked against you. Shut up. Catnaps this, catnaps that. I chuckle at her mumbled embarrassment. I feel kind of privileged being able to see, well, hear the sight of her. You take naps in the sun curled up on a towel, and your bow makes you like a kitty. So, don't call me a kitty. Or what? You'll hiss at me? Scratch you, maybe? That cat enough for you? Ow, kitty has claws. Stop it! She says but laughs. Alright, seems like the kitty jokes are a good way to tease her. I will have to remember that. But, Blake... Don't Blake me. How would you like it if I started calling you Crater Face? I don't have any acne. But you did climb out of a crater. Can't you call me devilishly handsome or something like that? No, I can't. You're not devilish and you're not that good looking. Funnily enough, time for me to be a useless bisexual. Her old partner, who's the worst... I was about to say human being, but he's not a human being. Her old mentor was like the worst human being on Earth. But he is devilish and he is handsome. As fuck. Too bad he always wears a mask. No, I can't. Oh. Big confidence building skills there. I didn't say you're not good looking. I said you're not that good looking. Hmm. You're not so bad looking yourself. Oh, I'm much more than just not so bad looking. And yet you're single. By choice. I need a break from those kinds of matters. Last boyfriend wasn't exactly a clean breakup. Uh, sounds like hesitation in her voice. It's definitely not a pleasant subject. 
sorry to hear that. Didn't want to make you think about something unpleasant. Well, to be honest, it's kind of refreshing to at least be able to mention it now. Maybe soon I'll be able to talk about it openly. Cool. Yes, cool. So, where are you right now? In the gardens? You? My room. Uh, I was thinking. What? Do you want to come in and maybe read a book together? So, you all know how I kept on saying, Oh boy, more embarrassing things for me to read. The game keeps on one-upping itself. It's about to happen. Like, the king thing that I forgot was in the game until last episode. Like, out loud? Oh, well, why not? I can do the female voices and you can do the male ones. Or just split them even. I do a great falsetto. So you're in? Give me five minutes. I'm not reading that out loud. Yes, you are. But it's embarrassing. And did I not read embarrassing parts out loud? Oh, damn, we're for choosing the one book with these kind of pairings. P please, Kojira-san, sheath your katana in my naughty meat holster. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I can't believe you actually went and read it. What do you mean you can't? You made me do it. Did not. I only gave you the choice of disappointing me or reading that. Glad you chose the more entertaining alternative. Oh, I need my mind bleached. Keep it for later. This is only the beginning of the scene after all. Oh, I'm so getting back at this for you for this kitty cat. After, after she stopped staring at me with those big yellow eyes. You're now close with Blake Belladonna. Cool Leo. Next episode will happen after I hit the skip button and we go all the way through Sunday. Okay, fuck. Um, we'll leave it right there. Sorry, I thought I could just hit the skip button and go all the way through. But I can't. So I won't. We'll pick up on Monday and I will unlock the third Blake button. Although I'm not 100% sure how. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.